Alarming new data from the CDC shows overdose deaths are rising rapidly. The agency said today the number of deaths eclipsed 100,000 in a 12-month period for the first time. And as LEX 18's Mike Valenti reports, Kentucky has seen one of the sharpest spikes. When the initial spread of COVID-19 forced us all into our homes, Mickey Arvin says it pushed people in recovery into the shadows. No meetings, no church, no, just no community, and that's dangerous for people that are in recovery. Arvin is a community liaison with addiction recovery care. She believes the pandemic has exacerbated a drug epidemic that was already escalating. When you isolate a recovering person, it sets them up to be, to get back into old patterns and to old ways of thinking. The data released by the CDC is considered provisional, but still gives us a good idea of what the final numbers will look like. In Kentucky, drug overdose deaths increased by 55% between April of 2020 and April 2021, one of the largest spikes in the nation. UK professor Dana Quisenberry is the principal investigator for surveillance within a Kentucky-based CDC-funded program. She says the powerful opioid fentanyl is driving the surge in overdoses in the Commonwealth. In fact, the CDC found that deaths due to opioids, mostly synthetic opioids, including fentanyl, accounted for more than 75 percent of the deaths this past year. One of the things that we have to do uh, is get a handle on uh, the drug supply changes and the effect of on mortality because of the, the more potent substances being readily available. Mickey Arvin says people who are relapsing seem to be doing higher doses of more powerful drugs. She's lost six friends to overdose deaths since the pandemic began. Very alarming. It's very sad. Uh, but it also uh, sparks a fire in me to continue to do the work we are doing. Arvin has been in recovery herself for two and a half years and is committed to staying sober because... I just refuse to let the people that I've, that's passed away that I love for their deaths to be in vain. Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.